guys, I'm Elma. So today I would like to teach you how to make a necklace. I have prepared the materials here. Um, I have a big bits and also the small bits like this. So you have to be um, creative enough to do your color matching combination because if you do make a nice color combination, it brings a very beautiful necklace. Okay. You use the 0.3 mm, so it will bring you a most um, flexible result like this. So if you use a thicker one, it looks very stiff, and when you do the ending part, it's a little bit difficult. So okay, for this the long one, if you would like to make a long one, the suggestion of the length will be 140 cm. So today I'm not doing the long. Um, like this, the one that can twist two times or three times. But uh, today I will just do the one long simple one, which you need about will be hundred cm. Like this, okay. So since you already placed the, mm, the bits according to the design that you want, so for the gap in between each of the bits, it's about like um, like using these small bits, it takes about like um, six or. Um, six or either eight uh, pieces so it depends on the size of your bits so for this one okay I'm not sure whether you can see it okay this one uh, I'll place it about like eight pieces of that in between and it depends on how far the distance that you want to place it okay well this is the design that I just uh, roughly um, to place it in order so that when I do along with the small and the big bits that I mix around, so we give you a good result. Show you this, I'll start with this. Normally, um, I will start with the bottom, the big one, then I will end to the top, to the smaller uh, bits. Okay, so then I'll place the big crystal like this. Okay, so. Once I put the 8 pieces of the small tiny bits and I'll put this, the big one, in between. Okay, and I'll put one crystal in between here to make a gap. You can even put lesser than you want. Normally I'll put like 6 bits to 10 bits in between. It depends on the design that you want to make. Okay, then I would like to place one of the bigger bits like this. Okay, so I'll place it in between of the, the big piece like this. I understand sometimes that uh, when during you design your own jewelry, you might make some mistakes. It's alright that you have you can redo it again if you have time. Um, when, when you're doing, sometimes it gives you more inspiration on the design that you want to make. You have to have the patience and be creative you know, with additional crystals that if you want to make it more bling or shining. Okay, like this. Can you see it? Okay. So you can do a creative way to add a crystal in between the other or bits. Or a stopper. Otherwise, sometimes you might be careless and you might slip away all the design that you have made. So for this paper clip as a stopper, you creative to do your own design. And once you've done, and you can see how beautiful it is. To be fast and how you don't have to count it how many um, bits that you have already inserted in so normally i'll do like eight i will separate like four i insert four and then second i insert another four and then it's completely will be eight pieces so it'll be faster so you don't have to recount you have to do like a big and small um spacing and the mixing then you only you can have the the result of this like this okay so like what I say that the, the color combination is very important so 
um, some people like to be like colorful or more vibrant so it's very depends it, it can bring very good result if you can you can manage to to design the color mixings in a very creative way or uh, putting different type of uh, signs or the gap of the bits or crystals because it brings a very good effect this will be the final one the final big piece okay there okay see so this will be the leg and it depends on certain people that uh, maybe some are a little bit taller or a little bit shorter so you might uh, choose the distance or the length that you want so this string as I told earlier um, um, the nylon string that this is 100 cm so why I, uh, why I cut into 100 cm actually some will be you might, you might use maybe 90 cm or more than that because uh, you have to have a uh, allowance for you to end the ending so you can't just uh, do the length according to the, um, the length that you want so you have to have an extra uh, length for you to end it you can see it right so sorry i can't get the the distance of the zoom so now okay this is just a single one the crystal here alone after the eight pieces of the spacing so now on the top here um i will add the in between the crystal it won't stand alone solo so like uh, maybe uh, i'll add um, something like uh, the big this one okay let me show you this way it'll be easier for you to understand the spacing one i was using these um, eight pieces okay this one okay now i will use this one bigger the bigger one okay this one i was placing it in between of the um the crystals okay so i'll put this in between the crystals like this okay i'll back to this guys i have just finished the end of here so i'll teach you guys how to end it with the lock like this okay so this is about like a 75 cm so i don't make it too long until like 90 or 80 cm because this one is quite tiny so i just want it to be this length but normally I'll just uh, put the adjustable uh, hook and also the uh, chain like this okay so normally this will be like um, I think about 8 cm yeah so this will be about 6 cm uh, adjustable uh, chain but you can have like longer than this is it depends on what you want for this one i don't want it to be too long okay like i have some like um, okay like this this one is slightly shorter because um for things that are a bit chunky like this so normally i don't do it too long because it will look nice now let me show you this so this one i had just done it last week okay so it's just nice in for this length okay it looks nice right okay so this one last week i did it with uh, poles and also some japanese um, bits like this so do you see is it nice okay i love one of these this one looks uh, elegant and glamour okay and show you some others that I did too like this okay okay this one a little bit longer and this one on top here is the stone it's um, um, not mistaken this is uh, agate stones okay sometimes I love to use uh, gem stones to mix around okay it looks more elegant Okay, this one 
there is no um, adjustable extended uh, chain because I think it's long enough then I won't encourage to have a longer length because this is very long even you are a very tall person um, can, you can see the length this is long enough okay did it last week too see you have to be creative and how you want to place your stones your beads and also your this or uh, the gemstones okay okay well and let's so add this and show you how I'm going to do this so it's very easy just take out this the lock Okay. okay, just put it in. Okay, so that's why, why I say that we have to cut a little bit longer so that we have a space and allow us for us to end the knot. So, normally I will just twist like six times. Okay, twist it and then you just pull it. Okay, so one more time, maybe normally I'll just do three to four times of the twist. And then I hold it to the same knot and double up. So, mm. can you see it? Okay, so this will be locking so you won't will stop it from coming out. So, to be safe, I normally will do two more times. So, total will be yes. three times of the knot. Okay, yeah, here it goes. So now you can see it is more thicker. Can you see it? Yeah, so it won't it actually locks very well. So you see? Okay. So normally what I do is I will add an extra safety to put the yuhu a little bit on the knot. Okay. Then Cut the extra string around it. Okay, lock it. You can see. So now it's locked and it's safe to place the rings around it to end it. So I have to do the other side of it. Okay. So this is how it looks like. So you won't get a very loose or if there is a space in between that you can see your string. So it doesn't look good. So well, you... Okay, so when you do this, if let's say there is a, an allowance, right? You see, there's a, some space that you can see the string. So what you do is when you twist, you place you place a string underneath, underneath the knot, okay? After the knot, okay? And then you do the twist like two to three times that you want then you pull it okay so this is how you um you try to occupy the space of the string so you don't you won't have a gap obviously there is no gap in between you see there is no gap it's just the bits and straight away with the end of the lock so you don't Okay, so again, so let's put the glue to make to strengthen the the knot. Hope you guys learn it from this uh, tutorial. And then cut it. That's how we end it. Okay. Have done and it's ready to put the hook and the chain. Okay. So this is 
chain. You make sure you lock it safely and there is no gap in between. Okay. So okay, um for this I would I won't put the original of this. Normally I would just um, I'll just uh, put uh, my own um, my own dangling on here with maybe a crystal or beads. Okay, I'll show you how we do it. Just hang on here. Let me end this first and I'll show you. Hang on. So get the good one, the good quality one. So get the rhodium. Do not get those um, those uh, normal cast iron that you get rusty. If even you do own for yourself, try to get the nice crystals, the real crystals, or you can get the gemstone to make it more um, precious look, a uh, masterpiece like. Uh, the crystal and also the beads now you can see okay. Okay, you have to use this okay, turn it okay. This is what I mean. So you see, it's not just the chain with the typical this, but I change it to a small little crystals, so it looks good, it looks more elegant. See, so it's end. Okay, let me put it this. You make sure all is uh, nicely sealed up and closed up so you won't like you when you wear it and you will just drop it off. So now here we are, we are end of the necklace that I have done. Well, see? Okay. done here hope you guys like it okay let me show you wow. so you are ready to mix and match with your clothes okay so you can extend it to the longer one that you want so it can be adjustable okay that's all for today thanks for watching so hope you enjoy my hand make a and hope you can click the subscribe button bye see you the next video